Hey guys, at BV Matson here. Quick update uh, on what's going on with the 1972 CL350. I've been working my way on these carbs, all right? And the other night I was kind of poking around, looking at some stuff. Do you guys notice anything missing on these? Do you notice anything missing on these carburetors? Notice anything? It's kind of a big deal. Besides the top and bottom, okay, the, the covers are off. I'm missing the actual throttle cable mount on these carburetors, on both of them. The throttle cable mounts are missing. So, in a panic, I head over to eBay, I head over to all the different websites looking for a pair of those mounts. Didn't find anything, they're really hard to find, okay? <laughs> Apparently they are. I, I, on eBay, I found full sets of carburetors. All right, and some of them had the mounting brackets, some of them didn't. Um, usually it was like there was a set of two, one of them had one and then the other one didn't. So it was like, damn, I need a pair, what am I gonna do? So I went to bed, you know, feeling a little defeated again on these bikes, man, you need a ton of patience. But I woke up in the middle of the night <laughs> and I thought to myself, I was like, God, I think that they're on the throttle cable. No way, okay? Come down to the shop. Dig into the box of parts, right? Remember how we put all the parts in a box? We keep all of our old parts. I didn't throw this cable away. And wouldn't you know, there are the brackets. Both the brackets were actually on the old throttle cable, okay? So we can get these bad boys off, all right? That is really, really cool. Saves me a little bit of money, but I thought the lesson to be learned is never throw away your old parts. All right, real simple solution. Just got the vice grip on it. And we're gonna twist these bad boys off. I think I'm gonna need that nut too, if I remember right. Not sure, but those will slip right off. Let's grab the second one. So happy that I, that I have these and that I thought, you know, to not, you know, chuck the old parts. It's so important, guys. Keep them. You never know what you are going to need. This is a huge win that I actually have this yet. So next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna grab these bad boys and we are going to drop them into a vapo rust and we will check on those tomorrow. Next, all I'm gonna do is go look at my new cable. I've got a brand new th throttle cable I'm gonna throw on. And uh, actually the nuts are on this piece so I don't really need them. I got brand new ones. Um, so again, I'm not gonna throw this part away. I'm not throwing the old one away. I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna go put it right back in the box. So of course, I'm working through these carburetors. You notice how clean these darn things are? Look at this. Absolutely immaculate, right? This is what the carbs look like, right? Know how I clean these like this? I picked one up. I picked one up, guys. I have got myself an ultrasonic washer. And uh, I'm telling you, this thing is pretty damn cool. Picked mine up at Tractor Supply. I think it was about 80 bucks. It's amazing. Um, I'm using Simple Green D and a water solution in it. All I did is dump these pieces in. Gave, it took a few cycles to get them done, um, but they look absolutely beautiful. Now, in the process of doing that, I actually discovered some bad, bad news. I wonder if I can show you this. Yeah, see that? See the, the orange wall? Float bowls got holes in them. All right, I got holes in my float bowls, ladies and gentlemen. I've been uh, searching around, seeing if there's a way to fix this, and uh, it's not looking good. This one doesn't have a hole yet, but it's pretty bad, and you can actually see on this side where one is actually starting to come through. See that? So sadly, I'm in the hunt for some float bowls. If you know how to fix this, um, let me know. I suppose like anybody who can weld aluminum could probably weld these shut, and they're probably savable, but... Man, I was like looking at these. I was so jacked. I was like, oh my God, they look beautiful. I'm going to be able to shine these up. 
And then I was looking at it just like this and I saw orange. And I was like, no way, you gotta be kidding me. Yeah, so doing some reading, why this happens is that people run ethanol fuel uh, through their carbs and you should really be using rec, fu rec fuel. Um, the ethanol, actually, if it's sitting in the bottom of the floats, um, in the float bowls, it's going to actually corrode. So it takes a lot of time to do that, of course. But these carbs are sitting on a shelf for a long time. And most likely, ethanol fuel was used. And there you go. Two float bowls down. You got a couple float bowls? Let me know. But I got to say, the ultrasonic, uh, ultrasonic cleaner, um, I'm kind of a big fan of it. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to do some videos on this for sure. Now, take a look at this. Remember these covers? All right. Here's a chrome cover. Here's one that we painted. Here's that one that we painted. It doesn't look too bad, but <laughs> I did go on eBay and I have been watching eBay and I actually found a full chrome one on eBay. Now the uh, carb tops, these actually came out fine. I'll probably just use these. Um, you know, you can't really see them anyway and they get kind of dirty anyway. Um, but the uh, chrome paint did okay. It did okay on these. I mean, is it chrome? Absolutely not. Um, but they did all right. All right. So that's kind of an update on that. I've still got a ton of work uh, to be doing. Um, I've actually have been kind of out of the office or out of the shop here for a while. I got uh, picked up this peg. Found this through one of the uh, groups, actually. Uh, one of the Facebook groups sent me over a proper left hand uh, rear foot peg. I was missing that. Uh, dropped it in some evaporus. This thing was really crusty. Take a look at this. I actually dropped this in evaporus yesterday and it's already doing pretty damn good. And while I've got you here, I want to show you something on these foot pegs. I had no idea this was a thing. But on the CL versions, um, they typically just look like this, like on the CBs. But apparently the CL has a little different left foot peg. And I didn't know that until a buddy of mine brought it to my attention. Um, it's something to do with the exhaust um, on that side of things. So um, just note that, I mean, there are two different ones. Uh, mine actually came with a round one and a square one. So I knew something was off. And I was just gonna go pick up a normal one. Um, but then buddy of mine was like, hey dude, um, nope, that's not right. So collective information, right? We all know different things. Um, more videos this weekend for sure, all right? Um, we're gonna be doing it. I got so much work to do. I'm waiting on a replacement float, I'm waiting on a replacement diaphragm, and I actually did last night uh, find a set of carbs on eBay that I did order, and I'm just crossing my fingers and praying to God that the float bowls on those are in really good shape because, ouch. That really, really hurts. Um, hope you guys are enjoying the videos. More videos to come. Please subscribe if you're enjoying it. Also, click that alert bell as well so you know when the new videos are coming out. Um, also, follow along Instagram and Twitter. Like the videos that you enjoy. It helps me know uh, what videos I should be making. Um, based on the videos that I should be making, I should be just riding motorcycles more because that last video I made of just outtakes from uh, filming the bike coming out of the uh, garage did really, really well. Uh, thanks for the support on that one. Guys, have a great evening. Uh, we'll see you in the next video.